Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys have had an awesome weekend. I told you I'd bring you another video if I found anything yard sailing, and I did! So, um, I'm bringing you a, obviously, rings I'm wearing today video, yard sale finds video, and an update on Poshmark. I want to say thank you so much to everybody that has watched my channel and is subscribed and supports it. And thank you if you have made purchases off of Poshmark. I have five envelopes waiting to be mailed out tomorrow. And I just love all these sales that I'm getting. So I'm super, super excited. So um, I love selling on Poshmark. I think it's very easy. And um, I'm building a lot of uh, good friends and good community through there. So first things first, rings I'm wearing today. Um, my left hand is the same. I have my little acorn, our couple's rings and our matching Celtic bands that we have, the little two hearts ring he gave me for my birthday, our birthstones, his birthday's in a few days, and then mine was in July, so Ruby and Peridot, the little squirrel eating his acorn, the wave ring, and then I have my little band ring there. On my right hand, I have my little three hearts ring. You guys have seen this a lot. This is like my thumb ring staple. Then I have this large tree of life ring. I think you guys have seen this before. I love this ring. Very substantial on the finger. This beautiful piece I got at a yard sale yesterday. I love this ring. This is a Taxco Mexico piece. Oh, it's a little snug because my, my fingers are swollen. As you can see, it's stamped 925-TA-06, I think it is, Mexico. And it's sterling silver with brass. This is so cool. I love this ring. It looks like it's a wing, probably like a Thunderbird wing or something. This lady had a lot of really nice pieces. I paid $25 for this one. I usually do not pay that much for stuff at yard sales, but I fell in love with this ring, and I had to have it. And I've been wearing it since nonstop, and I've received so many compliments on it. It's just unique. You do not see this anywhere. And I tried to look for it on eBay to see, you know, what it's worth, who made it, whatever. Cannot find it. So it's an awesome piece. I love the contrast of the silver and brass. The brass is kind of turning me green a little bit on my finger, so I'm going to have to do like the clear nail polish thing or something. I can't even wear brass, guys. I turn green. Um, but I love this ring. It's worth it. So that is awesome. This ring is a natural turquoise ring I got from... Um, it's like Turquoise Network. If you guys just go to turquoisenetwork.com, you'll find them. These guys, this is my first and only purchase from them, and it's not my only purchase just because I don't like them. I love them. Um, this is a very high-quality ring. It's solid sterling silver, nice, beautiful turquoise with the golden matrix in it. They have green turquoise, blue turquoise, purple turquoise. Their prices are very reasonable. I got this ring on sale for $19.00. And it's very good quality. I think the shipping's only like $4. So I highly recommend them. Just go to turquoisenetwork.com. I'd never heard of them. Um, I was on Facebook one day, and that was just an ad that popped up, and I checked them out, and of course I bought something. So that's that. And then this is a ring that I got on Friday yard sailing. That's, I believe, a blue soda light with the Navajo sun rays there. So that's what I'm wearing today. Ooh, focus. There we go. Camera's going kind of crazy. And then I'm wearing my bracelet and then my couple Brighton bracelets and my rope bracelet on my wrists. Pretty. All decked out. So then I found a bunch of stuff yard sailing um, on Saturday. I think I'll start with the rings, and then I'll go into everything else that I found. So, let's see. At one yard sale, I found a bunch of rings. So, this one's really cool. I'm not sure what stone this is in. It's a natural stone because it's cold. 
but this is stamped Sterling Mexico it's very very pretty I love this ring it's not quite the right size for me because it's a size 6 so I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this yet I don't know if I'm going to keep it and get it sized or what but I really like it and I have to figure out what the stone is it's very unique and then at that sale, I also got like this Celtic opal ring. Look at the fire coming out of that. That is gorgeous. There's so much fire in this opal. It's insane. Very, very, very pretty. Love that. I also got this ring from the same sale. It's just a really pretty, this is listed on Poshmark. Um, it's very pretty. It's got a little heart right here on the shank. It's three cubic zirconias with sterling silver. Wow, look at the fire in that. I believe these are Diamondique from QVC. It's got the stamp that they usually do which is a 925 uh, NFCZ or something like that. It's very pretty. So sparkly. Gosh, look at that. That would be a cute uh, wedding ring replacement or engagement ring, guys, if you want to find your girl a pretty engagement ring. Look at the fire in that. That is crazy. So, yeah, I have that listed on Poshmark. Very pretty. Definitely something that she'll stare at, or you'll stare at if you're buying it for you. And then this is probably the best find of that sale. I got this and I almost passed it up because I didn't realize it was Mark Sterling because the Sterling marking is back here. And it's also signed Alan K. So I looked him up on eBay and this is an Alan K. Mosaic Art Ring. He does um, art glass, mosaic glass jewelry. And this ring, the same styling except for the glass was a round piece, went for $179. So this is so unique, very pretty. Alan K. he's an Italian designer. Murano glass. So this I am keeping because I don't think I'm ever going to find a piece like this ever again unless I buy it off of eBay. Um, the people from this yard sale said that they traveled the world for the first 10 years of their marriage. That's all they did was travel. So I'm thinking she got this when they were in Italy somewhere and just decided to sell it. So I'm keeping this. This is so beautiful and unique. And then, let's see, so that's it for the rings that I found. And then I got some earrings and a couple necklaces and a pin. So I found this sterling silver brooch. It's stamped Beau, B-E-A-U, sterling. It's in perfect shape. It looks like it wasn't even used. So I found that. I love the play of light on that. I found these really cool earrings. These, I believe, are turquoise. Either that or they're like sodalite. They're very cool. Very large stone there. High polished sterling silver. French wires. Stamped 925 right there. These are really pretty. All this is listed on Posh, too. I'm not a dangle earring fan, so these are listed. Very pretty. At the same sale, I found these little circle sterling silver dangles. Nice big ear wire. Beautiful. I polished them up because they were like black. Oops, the little, the little bead fell off of it. There's a little bead that they put on these ear wires, but they didn't secure it at all for like a little accent. 
so very 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 pretty so those are earrings that I found at one sale I also found a pendant and stuff at the same sale but I'll just do the earrings for now ah get in there so did you guys do anything fun for your weekend I haven't really done a lot besides obviously yard sailing these whoops I just tore the bag I found these are gorgeous these are sterling silver I think these are peridot cabochon really cool stamped 925 right there the post is stamped 925 and the back is stamped 925 and then I also got these black they're either black spinel or black crystal earrings they're um, Leah Sophia. So these are not sterling, but I like Leah Sophia. I'm having um, good feedback on Posh for Leah Sophia as far as sales. I actually have to post these yet. So I got those at a sale. Can't believe I destroyed my bag. And then I got a couple of really cool pendants. People are messaging me like crazy. So the first one I got is this really pretty opal chip inlay with diamond accent pendant. Really pretty. It comes on an 18 inch long sterling silver chain. Stamps 925 right there on the bail. And the chain is also stamped 925 on the clasp and on the little silver ring there. Whoop. So that's gorgeous. That's listed on Posh. And then I also found this really cool Sterling Silver Tree of Life necklace. This was at the same sale I found those earrings. Isn't this unique? It's almost like a dog tag. It's super cool, but the Tree of Life is like all twigs. It looks like, you know, trees look when they're all bare in the winter time. This is so pretty. This is listed on Postmark as well. And the reason why I'm listing this stuff is cuz I really am um trying to build my Poshmark network and I cannot wear all these necklaces because my neck is too big. Everyone's like, "Oh, just buy extenders." I don't like the look of extenders on chains cuz I don't know. I don't know if it's because like OCD thing or I'm just super picky, but I don't like the way it looks when you wear an extender on a chain. It just disrupts the, the chain pattern, so I don't know. I'm really just trying to build my Poshmark network. This is becoming a really good source of secondary income for me. Um, I'm having fun. It keeps me busy. It keeps my anxiety at bay because I'm busy listing stuff, so um, yeah, having fun with that. And then, let's see, what else do I have? I found this at a thrift store, and I think it's just pewter, because it's not marked silver or anything, and it's kind of worn there. So, I figured I'd get it. It was only a dollar, but I don't think it's real. I'll test it just to see, but I doubt it. And then the best thing that I found this weekend was this. Harley Davidson motorcycles. It's a black kills gold Harley Davidson pendant with chain. It comes with the whoops. Comes with the original box and the license. It's from Stamper. Very, very, very cool. I have this listed on Poshmark. I looked these up on eBay and they go for anywhere from $100 to $175. Black Hills Gold is very popular. There are matching rings and earrings to this piece, so very cool. Stamp 10 and 12 karat gold, those are all Black Hills Gold pieces. So this is a great find. I found this at like 2 o'clock in the afternoon on a Saturday which is so unusual because usually there's 
jewelry people that beat me to a lot of these things, but they might have thought that this was fake and passed it up. So I was very, very, very happy to find that. So that's on Poshmark. Let's see. I don't think there's anything else. Oh, I do want to share with you guys. I am also doing jewelry jars, and I've sold three or four of them on Poshmark already. So I wanted to share with you a couple of jars that I have listed right now. This one I put as like a fun kids jar or a crafters jar. All these pieces are 100% wearable. Nothing's broken. Um, this I kind of put like fun pieces in it. Um, you know, little bracelets, little um, bead necklaces, sparkly stuff, little cute um, button bracelets and stuff. So really good if you have a little girl that wants to build her jewelry collection. So I have that listed on Posh. And then I have this one listed on Posh. This one is 100% wearable jewelry. It's got necklaces, earrings, some wire wrap rings, a watch in there that has a mother of pearl, um, like a, a cuff link. It just needs a battery. Um, some fun rhinestone stuff. This really cute like little bike thing. Some pearl necklaces. Some silver tone stuff. This one's a really cool, it's almost like a hematite looking uh, bead strand necklace that's really cool. So I have these jewelry jars available on Poshmark as well. Fun treasure hunting. Something that you guys always will know is that I will not put um, broken jewelry in my jewelry jars. I want people to have my jewelry jars and get all stuff that they can wear out of them or use out of them in some way. So nothing is broken. So if you want jewelry jars, I have these two available. So those are on Posh. Just fun stuff. Stuff that I don't wear. Um, you know, I'm not into necklaces a lot. I'm not into earrings a lot. I bought that large, large collection of, of costume jewelry and, and what I found to be a lot of precious metals from a lady here in town so that's just some stuff out of it I'm still sorting through it I still have hundreds of pairs of earrings to go through um, I think I got the bulk of what's on there done this is a big sterilite tote and it's filled to the brim of stuff that's on posh this is just full of all sterling silver that's listed on posh so I have a lot of stuff listed. I think I'm up to like 360 listings or something like that. Um, so it's fun. But um, yeah, I hope you guys have a super awesome rest of your day. Um, I will be just listing stuff, listing this video, and um, just kind of going over through my treasures again. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Um, please like and recommend my channel to people if you know people that love jewelry, love um, hunting for stuff, please, please, please recommend my channel to your friends. I'm trying to grow my channel. Um, and tomorrow I'm expecting my first unsearched, untested box from eBay. So I will be posting that video. I'm not sure if I'm going to do it live. I've never done a live video or if I'm just going to record me going through it. It's a two to four pound box of supposedly untested and unsearched jewelry so we will see how that goes so I'm excited to see that and see how um, that turns out and see if I find treasures um, so yeah just let me know what you think I should do if I should do it live or if I should do a video I know sometimes live videos lose quality so I might just do it and then post it I guess I'll have to see so um, thank you so much for watching guys I really appreciate it I hope you have a great Sunday bye bye